Okay, you boobers, I cannot wait any longer. I have uh, everything set up. I have two beers. I know that's fucking crazy for me. Two beers. Um, so, gonna start putting the fixed gear together. Hopefully I'm gonna do it in real time, so I, I wanna record it all. Um, but I have to eat tonight, I have to work tomorrow. Uh, so I might not finish this tonight, I might have to come back to it tomorrow. And also I have to go to the bike shop to pick up the rear wheel, because I don't have the rear wheel. So I'm gonna, uh, gonna get going now, but then I'm gonna have to leave in about, I don't know, 45 minutes to go and pick up the, bike, uh, the rear wheel. So, let's start, cheers. Right, so first things first, I'm going to start with the bottom bracket. So here we go. Just a cheap bit of grease. Change stays there, so I can't go all the way around with this this tool. And like I said, this tool is very cheap. For some app over here, uh, it's gone a bit looser now. I 
There's no torque spec written on this one, so mind you, I'll just go into it. Feels good. That feels pretty good. Not absolutely sure. Yeah, it would be good if I had a. Be good if I had a torque wrench, but unfortunately that I'm trying to build a cheap bike here. Well, <laughs> cheap. It ain't cheap, or it's not been cheap to so up. But, but whoops! See that cack handedness then? Don't do that, Dave. So let's just give that a bit of a tighten. Feels good. The threads in there already had some thread locker on them, and I only greased the back, uh, the back of the of the uh, threads inside there. So if you notice, I put the grease at the back. So they they're only th they're only greased at the back at the front here. They're not they're not greased. They've just got some uh, some thread locker. Anyway, that is it, and that budget tool felt dodgy, but. I think it's done the job, I think it's done the job. Right, next thing is the actual, the actual crank. Here is one said bottom bracket. So, stem for the other side. So let's have a look here, let's see. Also got some washers on there, washers for the pedals. A trusty knife that I've had for a few years now. Right, washes are off. No need to even hammer it in. Brilliant news. Absolutely fucking brilliant news. Boom! <laughs> I love it already. I love it already. Right. Let's go. Let's get the other side on there. What did I just do? This is why stuff takes me forever. Normal people doesn't take it all. These have already got some, uh, the bolts on the end there have already got some thread locker inside there, so don't have to worry about that. In fact, everything that I think needs thread, thread locking on it has, has already got thread locking. So now, back and forth. Do you think it's a 5mm? I do. It is. It is a 5mm. Right, let's get onto the other side here. Here we go, here we go. Is that yes that is and right we'll put put in the little lock ring which should pull it together so again this has got thread locker on it that was the same as the, uh, the bottom bracket the bottom bracket threads look like that so so it should be okay but what I will do is put just a touch of grease uh, sorry not on here but on the end threads on the inside on the other side. Um, you might think I'm crazy, but well, that's fine if you do. It's not your bike, boys. It's mine, so unlucky. Right, so in with the grease. Like I'm saying, not the outside threads that are closest to you, but at the, at the inside. At the inside. Stick did a good job there. And what do we need? Oh no! I 
think I'm fucked. I think I'm fucked because I don't have a big enough Allen key to get in there. <laughs> so, this could be a pretty shoddy story. Yeah. Well, that is the biggest Allen key I have, and this needs at least another three mil bigger, two mil bigger. Um, so that's not very good. That's not very good at all. Oh, for fuck's sake. And I can't believe I didn't check that. Right. right, well, like I said, I've got to go to the bike shop anyway, so um, I, will, I will pick up a bigger, bigger Allen key at the bike shop while I'm picking up my, while I'm picking up my, my rear wheel. That is a right bugger, a right bugger. Actually, I've got one more, one more place I can check in for two of us. No, it's definitely not. Well, that is classic me. That is classic me. Uh, I cannot tell you how often this has happened to me when I think, oh, I can get on and do that little job, and then all of a sudden I, I'm missing. But anyway, you saw that, that, that winning pretty simple. Now it's just time to have some dinner, go to the bike shop, finish this beer, and uh, when I get back, I'll have the rear wheel and I'll have a tool to fix that in there as well. Right, total loser. Right, I'm back. My mate can't meet me at the bike shop for a while, so I can carry on a little bit. I can get the, uh, I can get the fork in there. Let's move this up a little bit so we've got the whole of the frame in there. Come on, there we go. There we go. Right, so I can continue with a little bit. So I'm going to get the, the fork in so I can measure it up for, for trimming it down. So first of all, just got a bit of spray here just to clear these uh, insides here. Let's get a bit more of spray. Where's it gone, lads? Where's it gone? Where's it gone? Here it is. Right, again, Clion, Scylion, Scylion, I'm not sure, not, not sure of the name. But basically, this has been my WD-40 for the time that I've been in China here. So, I haven't actually bought any WD-40, which you probably think it's crazy, but uh, yeah, just want to make sure there's no muck inside the tops here uh, before we set in there. Before we set in the, the fork. That's right. Bring that down a bit. There we go. Mm. Yes. Can't see any muck in there, so that's good. Always checking that it's still inside this uh, cheap, cheap thing that I've got here. More, more cat whinging. Right, the fork. It's got the top, top part there, so we can pop that off. Oh, let's get the bearings in. No good without the bearings. Right, so I've got top and bottom bearings here. They look in good order. If you watch one of my other videos, a load of swarf was on, on one of them when, we, when it first started. Um, but again, I'll just put those, where do I just spray it across? Yes, so. Make sure they are good and tidy. Before we whack them in, no problem. Right, and then I'm going to put a little bit of grease on these as well, or 
or rather grease inside the cups here a bit. Okay, here we go. Not too much, just a bit. Just to make sure there's nowhere where it binds. I'm sure you should be get, getting specialist stuff for this, but I'm afraid I don't really roll that way, believe it or not. Right, that'll do. Actually, I think I've gone a bit over the top there. But I apologise if you don't like the music, I've just literally just whacked it on. So this is what we are listening to. Right, let's see if that goes in. Yes, that's popped in nicely. Fine. Right, next one, bottom one. surfaces to be, you know, causing me any creaks basically. So, oh, creak free run. You're probably thinking that I'm pumping loads in here, but I'm really not. I'm just giving it a good, a good coat. Right, that's done. Let's get the bearing. Pop the bearing in there. That went in nice and smooth. Dead easy, very good. Are you still in shot? Yes, we're still recording. That took me not so long. Right, next thing is the fork. The fork's got a, a, a split ring washer at the bottom here that came came with it. Maybe it was a bit looser. Um, it's on there now for sure. So now we can slip that up. Slip that up. And then you've also got another split wing washer there and the top uh, finishing part. I don't know what you call that, spacer even maybe, that, that goes on top of the frame there. So now we should just be able to slip this in like so. Watch the top, yes, that goes well, good. Split ring next. So that, let's split ring. Here it comes, and this will be snug, or it should be snug. It is snug. And you hear it clip into place there. So now that should actually hold. Well, I say it should hold. It doesn't. <laughs> right, let's see if it holds with this thing on top. Let's see if that makes it hold. Yes! So now that should hold. It does hold, very good, very good. Right, very good. So now we need a, uh, my, what do you call it, um, stem on top of there, my stem. So we can start measuring it up. So let's have a look here. I think this stem, I offered it up earlier and it was a bit tough. So I'm expecting the same right now. I'm expecting it to be a bit tough. So let's see how we go. Let's see how we go. Oops. Nope, I've got to grow it up. Oh no! Well, I tell you what, I offered that up earlier on and it was absolute drama, but now it feels absolutely fine. I've only gone and forgot to put all the spaces on though, haven't I? Which is classic me, so off comes the stem. <laughs> I hope you like armpit hair. is off. I'm always checking that the bike is actually still attached. Uh, it's still attached to that. Right, let's get some, let's get some of the stems out. 
Uh, sorry, spacers. Back and forth, back and forth. Right, packet spaces. How many have I got here? One, two, three, four. I've got four, four spaces. So. That should be plen uh, plenty. So let's wipe those spaces on. Two, three, four. Boom. So I'm going to need to cut this. Um, cut this. Right, what did I do with. What did I do with my stem? Here we go, the stem is back. That's good. What do you think of my mechanical skills so far? Pretty budget, wouldn't you say? Pretty budget. Right, let's get this stem on here so I think what it was was there's why this was so tight earlier was there was a a finish on the in or it's painted on the inside of this stem where it's sliding onto the onto the actual <laughs> look at how bad that looks that will not do will not do um, right yeah it's over there right so. We can basically look at marking this up now so we can cut it. So, feels pretty tight. So now you need a, some sort of marker, some sort of pencil. Did you didn't get ready? Didn't get a pencil ready, did I? I'm not even sure I've got. She's got a whiteboard marker or a red pen. Let's see. Let's see which is best. Let's see which is best. Down she comes. Oh, that is hideous. It's embarrassing. Firmed up, no looseness in there. Feels feels pretty firm already, but we still need to cut, don't we? So I think this red pen will do. Yes, it will. Just, 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 just. Sweet. Okay. Right. Okay, so I'm gonna to need to do some cutting, so I'm gonna stop there and go to the corner and cut, but I can't be bothered to disassemble this camera. So you'll see this again when it is cut, uh, and then again, I will probably go to the bike shop. Uh, well, no, I will go to the bike shop and get the, get the rear wheel, because it will be time for that then. All right, bye. <clears throat> okay, welcome back. Those of you will, with eagle eyes will notice that the fork is now missing. You'll also notice that it's daytime. Uh, I basically went to the bike shop and ended up spending the evening there. Didn't come home until about 11 and I had to work yesterday. Uh, and also I needed to get some tools so I could not carry on uh, working on the bike and it's about five o'clock now in the afternoon and uh, I wanted to go to the gym this morning because I've done nothing for two days. So I've totally, totally cheated um, with the time, but I am now uh, ready to go. I had to go and get some tools because last time I didn't have a big enough Allen key. So I went to my local crazy hardware man and got myself some, some Allen keys. Uh, yeah, so that's sweet. And also, I wasn't happy about, you remember I said I got the boy tools? 
Uh, I wasn't so happy about this tool putting on the bottom bracket. Um, it is on there, it's on there fine. And when I was in the bike shop, I asked him to check it and he said, yeah, you were right, it's fine. Um, so this uh, won't, won't be good enough for fixing the wheel. So I've also got another amazing tool. And if ever you can't find any tools, I suggest you just go to a local uh, building site and see if you can't get a bit of scaffold. This is what I've found, they're building, doing loads of engineering works outside my flat. So, got this bit of scaffold, I'll be able to put the tool in there. So when it comes to fixing up the back wheel, I will get all the purchase I need uh, to make sure that I've got the cog on there. On there, good. Uh, yeah, so that's my new tools. So now we can get back to uh, where we left off. Oh, and the, the fork is, is uh, has been dropped out um, because again, full disclosure, uh, I, uh, I had to get him to cut it in the bike shop, but that's better. That's better for, uh, for him to cut it, but he's got a carbon fiber, a carbon fiber, um, what do you call it, hacksaw blade. So much better to get him to do that than to me to use just any old hacksaw. Maybe it would have done, but it's the only thing that I, that I haven't done. Right, so we left off with me not having a big enough tool for this side of the bottom bracket. But now that I have that tool, we can get it, we can get it on. But actually, I forgot. Like I said, it's after five and it's now my day off. So I think a beer is in order. Plus it is absolutely roasting in here. I just imagine it's about 35 degrees. Mmm. Very good. Right, let's, uh, let's screw that on. So this, this side is important. That bolt, well, all sides are important, but that, <coughs> the little cap that is in here secures the, uh, the compression on the, on the bottom bracket. So in here, this bolt pushes down onto the onto the bottom bracket bearing, so we know that we've got the right uh, we've got the right um, pressure on them. So at the moment, it's been super good, but they are just a tad loose. I can feel a little bit of wobble in them, so we are going to tighten them up or tighten it up until we don't feel any wobble. That actually feels, that actually feels very good. And it's spinning quite good. I suppose I can do it a little bit more and then if... Uh, see that's spinning just that little bit less, but... Is there any wobble? Feel wobble, but actually it could be. I think it's the, the bolts on the on the uh, on the arm there on the crank. So let's tighten the crank um, and see see if that is the wobble. Because I think that is. I think that's spinning pretty good. Yeah. You won't be. I mean, you know. I'm not, I'm not particularly worried, I just wanted to make sure that it holds together, so to me that feels good, that feels good. Yeah. I can tell you I'm going to have to put the aircon on because it's absolutely good in there. Mm. 
bolts were very, very far out. <laughs> so I was, I was doing them both sides, but I don't think that was necessary to be way down. Right, let's have a feel of that. Let's see if we've got any movement. No. The movement has stopped, that's good. So we can tighten that up and it seems to spin okay. It doesn't spin like a ham beanie, but I'm not surprised. Uh, right, let's get this, let's get this tightened up. Whoops. Okay, no play. Maybe not as smooth as it could be, but it's it's pretty smooth. Right, I've got to get the aircon on. <laughs> Otherwise, I might, I might actually die. Right, so next thing, where were we? Aha, the fork. So let's get the fork back in. Because that's what we cheated on before. So. Here is the fork. So let's get the top bits. Mm. Oh, actually, before we put the fork in, headset. Last time, I didn't put the headset in, so we'll pop that in there and get ourselves an iron key. This stand has a thing to hold all your iron keys. Obviously I haven't set that up. This is a six. So, yeah, this is just a headset. The bloke in the bike shop actually told me that the headset, he doesn't think this is a very good one. Um, but everything that he says, I have to take with a pinch of salt because he owns a bike shop and that's how he makes his living. <laughs> so, uh, he was trying to sell me shoes on the way out, uh, but I obviously don't need shoes. Uh, for this, for this at the moment. Did you hear that? Right. Is that in there? It sounded like cracking to me. Feels good. One more turn. Yes. Yes. I don't think that's going in there. Yep. Okay. Fork in. I'm just going to put a bit, bit more grease in here. You will have seen me last time putting in some grease. Actually, I'm going to put it on. I'm going to put it on the bottom of the fork here, just a little bit, because, like I said, we don't want to have anything binding up, creaking, that sort of thing. So, again, maybe you think I'm putting on a lot here, but I'm really not. I'm really. Pretty loose. Let's get a little bit more underneath there as well. There's my knife. Oh. The aircon is good. The aircon is good. Yes. Move this up. Side as well. 
the last thing I want is the, this washer here, the split washer to start rubbing. And also, should I get stuck out in the rain, which I'm, like I said, I mean, I, I will not be taking this out in the rain. This is Sunday best, but um, if I did get stuck out of rain, this will offer a little bit more protection. Sounds good. Right. Pop that down. Feels good. Give myself a rag. Right. And... Split ring on top there, a uh, split, split thing, which we don't want to. And on top there, like that's in. Got the top cover spacer that came with the actual bike. That goes on, should hold it then in place. Said that last time, it didn't really hold it. Today it holds it very good, but I think that's because I added a little bit more. A little bit more grease. Right. Just checking you're in shock because otherwise I'm droning onto nobody. Uh, right, so that's all. That's good. Fork is in. Right, let's get the spacers on there and the stem on there. This is going to look horrific, but until I've got it set on the ground and offer it all up together, um, I'm not going to cut it anymore. So, uh, whoops. So yeah, like I said, these are all the spacers. <laughs> I don't know. Probably about four centimeters, I would say. It's good. But uh, that's not too bad. This won't be forever. The first trip this bike has, or one of the first trips it will have, will be back to the bike shop to, to fix it. But the, this uh, headset doesn't go down deep enough into the, into the fork, so um, I, need to, I need to change that. Let's spin you around so you can see what I'm doing. Drop you down a bit lower. Side of this, this stem that's coming up everywhere. One of the three. Let's see. There we go. Good grief. I mean, look at all that paint. Why paint the inside? The cat's gonna bloody eat it. Why paint the inside of that? It's just. Made an absolute mess. Wait! Bloody cat. Always wants to eat everything. 
just the bolt on the other side of the stem for that. <coughs> the securing bolt here. You know this core. Um, right, let's get these around. Actually, I have them at the front, that'd be a bit meaner looking. Yes, the bolt on the side. Yeah, so they face me now. As I'm looking at it. Very good. Sorry about this, I checked your still in still in shot. Yes. You are there. So on goes the top cap. That is ungreased and it has no thread locker on it. So you might think I'm crazy, but I'm gonna grease that just a tad to make sure that any problems I really don't use much grease there. You just have to believe me, I'm not going to show you. Right. It's coming on, it's coming on. This is the wheel. I had to take it to the bike shop and uh, because he had to fit a tubular tire for me uh, because I bought this. Didn't realize it was tubular because I don't read Chinese and my mate didn't translate it uh, properly for me. Um, so I had to go for this tubular one which is annoying and it probably won't stay on the bike. Uh, I've got uh, the uh, these are just lightly threaded on, so all I'm going to do here is tighten up this uh, the the sprocket on there, and then I've got a lock ring on there to to tighten up. But this is where the amazing new tool comes in. So I think I'm going to have to drop drop the camera down so you can see what happens on the floor. So here we go, here we go. Ah, oh, just drop that down, but. Let's offer this up. Hopefully we can be done in 10 minutes. Uh -huh. There we go. Right. Let's move the bike out of the way. Okay. Get some kit ready. Old pair of pants. Rag. Got another rag somewhere as well. Ah, 
Ha. The other dirty oily rag is of course on my bed. How lovely. Right, got the rubbish. Boy, tall, boy. Love it. Got the amazing new tool of the building site. So, let's get the wheel in. So, first things first, we need to get the, we need to get that on there. So, hopefully, we can just twist it on there enough with this bad boy. Doesn't fit very well, of course, because it's not for single speed. Oh. Right, I'm back. I'm not back from the bike shop, I'm just back in a room, but I think actually I've managed to get it on there enough. Just spent a couple of minutes tightening it on, just very, very slowly. Just very, very slowly, but I think I've managed to get it on there. And even if I haven't, now I'm just getting bored. <laughs> so I'm gonna put the rest of it back together. And uh, I'm so disappointed I didn't get to use, well, I can use the, I can use the new tool maybe on the, on the lock ring. So let's get the, let's get the lock ring in there. Because we can do that. We can do that bit. Again, if you can't get it to thread on, do you hear that click? When it, when you feel it drop, that means it's ripped. It's found the, found the threads. If you, if you turn it the other way, and then when you feel the click, it means it's found the threads, and then stop turning. In my experience, um, right, that is on there. Okay, got to change the music, so. Just don't like this. Okay, so we're back to the boy tool, which is obviously useless. Obviously useless, but this should be enough just to get it on there. I hope even this is not fitting very well. Yes, it has fit. Right. cheap cheap wheel set and the the if you buy a cheap one the the hub will uh, start falling apart so you want to make sure that that doesn't happen I'm literally pushing through all my force here but yeah you should have a very big tool to do this I might actually employ the scaffold spec on this bolt, on this uh, lock ring here, which I would say is surprising. Right, I think a couple more nudges and then we're going to call that it.
Right, that ain't going anywhere, so that is good. Like I said, I'll go to the bike shop and get that, get that pop cog properly on there, but I can't be bothered now. That's knackered me out. Good work. Right, we can now put in the rear wheel. We don't need the boy tool anymore. Let's get the bike back involved there. to employ the, ca the, the, the scaffold. Still, it's always a way, you buy the wrong tools, what do you expect? Buy cheap, buy twice. In my case, probably about three or four times. Right, there's bolts in here, the track bolts to put, set the uh, tension on the train. Tension on the chain, so I'm gonna wind those out a bit. And also it's got these metal cups here uh, for protecting the protecting the carbon fibre and giving it giving the the wheel something to bite into when you screw it on there. So I now need uh, to get said wheel that we've just hand fistedly put together. As you as you ride anyway, the, the lock ring will tighten. Uh, because it is, uh, sorry not the lock ring, the cog will tighten because it is bound on that, on that way um, so, uh, or that, uh, you know, as you, as, you, uh, as you pedal so it will tighten on the way to the bike shop so maybe I get there and it feels tight enough anyway it will tighten and it, it, so long as I don't do any hard braking which I will obviously, like I said, take it very easy um, then, then, it, then it should be okay. Right, so Allen keys for these. Uh, let's get it on there. Let's get it on. This was, what was it, 10, 8, 8, 8. Here we go. Yeah, and also, I, quite, uh, I know I said this build is going to be all Chinese, but. It's uh, unfortunately the I had to go with a tubular tire, but when when I get to the bike shop, basically the guy does not speak English. I have a friend there that speaks excellent English, and he helps me a lot. But you know, sometimes you know when somebody is working, so he puts the bike into into the work stand, and he he just gets going. So really, you don't want to you don't want to interrupt a man. At work, and he's like I say, he's, he's helping me. So, so I let him, I let him carry on for the most part. Right, I'm just going to set this in the in the middle loosely to start with. In the middle. <laughs> Looks good. Wee. Got to change the music that is playing. Got to. Got to. Right, that is on that one. That is on that one. Right, that is on that one. Right, there are some tiny bolts holding this metal uh, cover on to, like I said to protect the frame so I need to get those back in let me let me show you what those look like and how ridiculously small they are so 
So they are absolutely tiny, tiny Allen key, but worth it for protecting the protecting the frame. Right, come on. I don't know. I've just whacked any music on there. Very delicate indeed. Very delicate indeed. Didn't grease it a little, did I? So, just a tiny bit. If you didn't take these out, the, the back wheel wouldn't, wouldn't, uh, wouldn't fit in, so I did just take these out because I wanted to check the, the chain line. Good grief. Soft, soft. Right, let's, let's grip, get this one out and grease it up. It feels grindy just putting it in there anyway, so a little bit of grease wouldn't do it any harm. Also at the bike shop they think I'm completely crazy because no one here in China rides rides this. Every time I go there I have some sort of an issue with my Java and there's something that I want him to get and he's like uh, and he always has to order stuff because he never has it, he never seems to have anything that I actually need. Um, yeah, so I'm just a running joke disaster at the bike shop. I can't go there by myself either. I have to I have to get my mate to meet me there because otherwise, it, uh, otherwise I don't get anything done. Right, I've got two more bolts on the other side. So let's get those in. Touch of grease on these ones. Touch my grease. Touch my grease. Hardy, don't eat that, mate. Zero confidence in these little bolts. Right. I think we've started a new file. There might be some glitch there. My first insult with this frame, or well, well it's not the frame, but I don't think these tiny bolts are made very good. I think I felt on this side a bit of a slip as I tightened it. Definitely. Definitely on that one. So I'm gonna have to watch that. I didn't take these ones out and I'm not going to do it now. I'm grease them. <coughs> I'm grease them and just tighten them to make sure they don't, don't vibrate out. Right, that is on there. Sweet. How do you like that? I like it a lot. It looks good. It looks good. Really? Stop that business. You know what it wants? It wants a cone spanner in there. So I can tighten it on properly. This wheel is just giving me more drama. 
it's too specialist. It's too specialist for my my basic fixed gear needs. So I will be replacing it for sure. Right, let's see if this one's going on there now. Yes, we are now going on there. I hate how that's moving. That side's fine, but this side. It's caught, it's caught, it's okay. It's caught, right. Even looks a little bit straight, you know. Yeah. What does that look like? Yeah. I'll tell you what it looks like. It looks fucking cool. Right. Got to go for a piss. I don't think you need to listen to that. <laughs>